Today I want to do an update on the review I did for the official Jelly Bean update for the original Galaxy Note on AT&T, the i717. So today is uh, May the 19th, I believe the uh, that came out on May 2nd or May 3rd, so um, I basically have used it, used that that update since the second or third, up until about a day or two ago. So I, I did use it for a couple weeks, actually for a little bit more than a couple weeks. Uh, well, somewhere around there. Uh, so uh, I really was able to spend some time with it and to kind of kind of figure out about it. So there are some issues with it. Um, one thing in particular was. The battery, the battery life on it was not very good at all. Um, I didn't do any screenshots specifically, but if you go over into settings and you go to uh, you go to battery, it gives you this type of a thing right here, and it shows you everything that's using your battery, and it'll tell you. Okay, it says five hour or yeah, five hours, five minutes, seventy eight percent not charging. In other words. This phone, my phone's been off the charger for five hours and five minutes, and now it's down to 78% of the charge. Um, I didn't do uh, really any screenshots whenever I was on that. I guess I should have, but but it was pretty bad. Um, it would it had been like eight hours, and I've been just been down to like 29% or even lower than that, and just that happened on a consistent basis. So the battery life on it was just pretty terrible so you can see here obviously I'm not on the official update anymore I've switched back to the ROM that I was using before uh, I did this official update and you can see here it's this paranoid Kang droid it's a custom ROM so that's what I'm back on now um, another thing another problem that 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 ROM had the official update from AT&T is there was lag in the keyboard uh, if you were texting or you were typing in a Google search or whatever, any time you were using the keyboard, you'd hit the you'd hit the the letter and it would hesitate. It would take half a second or so for it to finally put the letter in that you typed. And if you're trying to type fast, that just it does not work. And um, I experienced that problem as well. Um, from the video I've of I've made my other review. The, the review video I've had, I've had several people talking about some issues they've had. Those are two specific problems that I had um, on, uh, on, on that official uh, update from AT&T. Um, battery life, of course, that's, you know, if the battery's not going to last long enough, then what's the point of having a, a cellular phone, you know, something to be able to carry around with you? So that's, you know, that's very important, and, and it just stunk. So I'm back on this paranoid King droid. And uh, it's working working out pretty good for me. So, one thing I want to say is, you know, the the problem with that though is they they put out that review that that update, and then there's going to be a lot of people who either number one uh, who just don't want to root and they don't want to put some kind of custom ROM to help out the battery life. Number two, you're going to have people who may want to, but they just feel like you know they're not they're not capable of of doing it. And then number three, there's going to be people who, and this is probably the majority of people, who don't even know that they could do that at all. They just, they don't know that, that that's a possibility. So one thing I want to say is, you know, if, if, if you're thinking about that, just know it's, it's not as difficult as you might think. Um, you know, if you're able to follow directions, you know, just kind of, you're going to be able to, uh, to put a custom ROM on here and to be able to, uh, to overcome some of the the issues that 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 official update has, you know, one good thing about that update is that it gives us Jelly Bean, but it gives us Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Uh, that's not where Android is at now. We're at 4.2.2, and in fact, there's some release 1.1 or something like that out. But on this custom ROM that I was running way before they put out that official one, you can see here. I'm running Android version 4.2.2. So you know you think in going to a custom ROM, I'm going to be getting less than what the carrier supplies. Well, that's that's just not true either. Uh, I have a newer Android version than what official update people have from AT&T. And it does, going from 4.1.2 to 4.2.2, 2, 
there are some enhancements like here on my lock screen okay so on my lock screen I have what they call these lock screen widgets and you can see there I can I can go here and I can add these different widgets I have uh, HD widgets installed uh, on here and so I get it gives you more than just the stock widgets but you you can get like this calculator widget and so then that way you know you turn on your phone you can swipe right over and boom you can be right into be right into your calculator widget from a lock screen so that that's pretty cool there's other things that are that are added like um, like this torch to me I use this so much I use a torch all the time on my phone and so I can turn it on real quick and easy like that well that one don't seem to be working but there is a widget that'll do that for me I just haven't put it on there yet but you can see I mean there's a, an improvement uh, from 4.1.2 to 4.2.2 um, another thing is you may want to stay on stock um, you want to stay on the stock AT&T ROM from, from AT&T and their ice cream sandwich ROM was pretty good uh, for stock anyways and you can go back to that if, if you want to do that and I've got a I've got a video that will show you how to do that so probably right here I'll put a link to to that video showing you how to go back to stock ice cream sandwich and I'll also put a link right here showing you how to load a custom ROM where you can where you can stay on Jelly Bean in fact get a newer version of Jelly Bean uh, whatever the case is I hope you find some way to to alleviate the problems that you're gonna have in that mess of an update from AT&T uh, hope, hope something that uh, that I can provide for you here will help you to get out of that thanks for watching today